Happy May 28th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and the party visited the town of Sunbell. We were able to purchase some cleansing crystals and rid ourselves of this dreadful curse. I saw this campfire icon, but I was so excited to finally find cleansing crystals, I didn't think about it. In the comments, Eric pointed out that I could have used the campfire to get rid of the curse, and then I either could have saved some amber or I'd still have two crystals, whereas right now I have just the one. <laughs> I, I think we're going to talk that up to Ivy. was just so excited. She immediately, I don't know, what do you do with it? You smash it on the ground or stomp on it or swallow it? I don't know what. <laughs> don't swallow crystals. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, so anyway, that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventures on the calendar for us today. Here we go. As you venture through the swampy delta of the Iris River, numerous intriguing landmarks capture your attention, holding the promise of valuable clues to the Guardian's whereabouts. Search the area for clues. <clears throat> we, uh, I guess we'll just go... Um, we'll start at four. That archway looks intriguing and go clockwise. Four, two, three, one. Okay, area four. Amidst the murky swamp, an ancient archway, weather worn and moss covered, stands in solemn solitude. As you approach it, it radiates an ethereal glow and conjures an illusionary path leading into the unknown. What is this? Roll D20 plus Intellect, Reminder, Student, comma, Arcane Adept. We are neither student nor Arcane Adept. I don't think any of our folks are, are that. So we're on our own with Intellect here, and our Intellect is plus zero. So here we go. 17. Very nice. Um, that's the best result. You recognize this as an ancient teleportation portal. Gain a plus five bonus on your roll if you decide to walk through. Okay. Why not? Do you step through? Yes. Because we have a plus five. With caution, you step onto the path and are transported to a different part of the swamp. Roll d20 plus intellect reminder survivalist. We are survivalists, so we get plus seven on this roll. And we get 11 plus 7 is 18. That's the best result. You find a hidden cache of amber. Gain 3 amber. Um, that was pretty risky behavior. To come away with 3 amber, I gotta say. But we'll take it. 6 amber. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Kids, if you find a mysterious portal in the woods, in the swamp, uh, do not... Do not step through it. I'm full of um, good advice uh, today. All right, that was area four. Area two. <clears throat> a curious pile of rocks worthy of further investigation. You may stop here or continue to explore before returning here. I will continue. Area three. The damp, overgrown swamp is home to a variety of flora. Among these... A particular patch of brilliantly colored plants catches your eye. They shimmer with an enticing glow. Caught within their tendrils, you notice an object gleaming, possibly, of significant value. Well, D20 plus Constitution <laughs> reminder, danger sense. We do have danger sense. That's plus two. Our Constitution is plus zero. Three. <laughs> so five. Um... Can we get, the worst result is seven or less. Can we get three more points? What are we dealing with here? Constitution. I do have a stout seed and we've got Bumble who can help us. Um, potentially. What is the stout seed? What did I say we need three? We need three. So Bumble can get us two. And the stout seed, right? Where is it? I have two stout seeds. And it has a D4. All right, let's use a stout seed and see what we get here. Where's my eraser? 
There we go. So we're going to use one of those. And I guess we should have tried, well, Bumble alone wouldn't be enough. Here we go. We need three. One. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's try Bumble now. Is this worth it? It's probably, I don't know if this is worth it. Okay. We need a spade or a club greater than or equal to seven. Here we go, Bumble. Nope. And it's a face card. So Bumble takes a point of damage. Bumble has two health. So it's okay for now. All right. Dare we... We would need a two or... Wow. We're in it now. Let's use it. That's what we have them for, right? So we need a two or better. We got it. Okay. So... And all that does is get us the middle result here. Uh, what area were we on? Three. If the result is between eight and 14, you avoid the most dangerous parts of the plant and retrieve the object, but not without getting stung. Reduce your health by one. The object turns out to be a brawn berry. Okay. So we're down to 17 health. Not worried about that. And we have collected, we've traded two stout seeds. No, yeah, we traded two stout seeds for a brawn berry. We already had a brawn berry. So now we're up to two brawn berries. Okay. All right, that was area three. Here's Ivy. Area one. The surrounding rocks of this majestic waterfall are slippery and treacherous, but could there be something valuable at the top? Roll d20 plus dexterity, reminder athlete. We are an athlete, we get plus two there and plus two for dexterity, so we get plus four on this roll. Six, that gets us a 10. Uh, we need 15 to get the best result. I don't think anything's going to get us five points. What are we dealing with? Dex. Oh, now we can reroll strength rolls. Uh, dexterity. All we have that can help us with dexterity, I think, is Disco. And he'd only get us one or two points. So, uh, worst result. You struggle to keep your footing on the rocks. You slip and fall and crack your knee. Reduce your health by two. You may give up or try again. <laughs> to climb to the top. You know we're trying again. What did we lose? Two health. So we're down to 15. Um, okay. 15. Here we go. We get plus four on this roll. We can do it. No. <laughs> oh, one. Okay, we're down to 13. <laughs> I've got to see what's at the top of this thing. Okay, we need a 10. We got it. Okay, 12 plus 4 is 16. That gets us the best result. You navigate the slippery rocks with surprising grace and agility after both of our knees are cracked. <laughs> Your every step precise and calculated. You scale the waterfall to the top and find a hidden cache of three amber. Oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> so... We're up a total of six amber. We're up to nine amber. Um, so that's good. Uh, we paid we paid a high cost for that, I think. We got a brawn berry and six amber. Um, okay. Well, that, my friends, is May 28th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. <laughs>